Today we're going to talk about zone cleaning. Now I totally believe in this method. It's from the fly lady. That's why I created zone cleaning for my children and I love it so much. Like me, I have my zones. They have their zones. They're in charge of their zone and they have to keep it clean all week long. Oh, it saves on fights really. I have found fly lady back in 2007 after I had my third child. I had postpartum depression. Their cleaning methods helped me get out of that and it helped me get my house back in order. Over the years, I kind of created my own ways of doing things and the house just went. I'm back on the Fly Lady system and I can't be happier. But I'm gonna share with you the Fly Lady zone cleaning method. The Fly Lady has a quote and it's basically like, don't feel like you have to catch up, start where you are. The Fly Lady has divided our homes into five areas, but these are the main areas of your home. Each zone is given a certain week of the month. So that way, every week in that month, you're decluttering, you're deep cleaning, and your house will just get cleaner. It's awesome. So don't worry if you're starting out, it's, it's pretty brilliant. So zone one is your entrance, your front porch, and your dining room. Zone one is the first few days of the month until the next Sunday. Zone two, which is the one that I just finished, um, is the kitchen. And that is the first full week of the month. Okay, zone three is the bathroom, and this is the main bathroom of your house, not your master bathroom. Like your main one that your guests will go to or your kids use. So it's the main bathroom and one extra room. Now this could be your laundry room, this could be your office. Pick it, basically. And this is the second full week of the month. Okay, zone four is the master bedroom and bathroom and closet, okay? So you're staying in the same area of the home. Zone four is the third full week of the month. So zone five is your family room, your den, your TV room, that main room that you're always gathered in where all like the electronics are, the books, the magazines. So this zone is the last few days of the month from Monday until the first of the next month, okay? So you're working in all five zones every month. So if you feel like you're behind, don't worry. You're gonna come right back to it in three to four weeks anyway. So if you're like, okay, I have some other extra bits of my home, don't worry. Fly Lady is just focusing on those main areas of your home. Uh, Cause there's things like my cold storage room, my garage, and you know, there's, everyone has those extra rooms. So, when you want to declutter your home, you're going to declutter in the zone that is that week. So this past week was the kitchen. I focused on a few things. I didn't hit all of them on the list for uh, the kitchen, because, come on, I'll get to it again next month. So I picked four areas that I was gonna work in my kitchen, and that's what I focused on. So one, number one, was wipe down my cupboards. Number two, was to wipe down all my appliances. Now, I did open my microwave and wipe out the inside of my microwave, but my fridge, my dishwasher, and my stove, I only concentrated on the outside of it. I didn't go on the inside. My, the outside of my appliances needed a good scrub down. So that's what I focused on this week, was just the outside. Next month, when it's in the kitchen zone, guess what I'm gonna be doing? I'm gonna be doing the inside. The third thing that I worked on was I deep cleaned my floor. Now, if you've seen my vlogs, you know I have the floor behind my kitchen counter, and then I have the floor here in the dining room, and then I have the floor in the entryway. Nope, I only did the floor in my kitchen behind that counter. Okay, so I deep cleaned that part of the floor. So what I do is I take out my vacuum, and I vacuum up the crumbs, and I get in the little crevices under my stove, and under my dishwasher, and under my fridge, and I get all the cobwebs, and and things I could suck up with my vacuum. And I do that and then I literally am on my hands and knees washing my floor. So that I give it an extra good clean. So, yeah. Because basically during the rest of the time I'm just mopping really, really quick at the end of the night and boom, I'm done. But, but for zone cleaning I gave it an extra elbow grease. So. And the fourth thing that I wanted to do this week was clean out my pantry. Now this was not a deep clean. Like this was not a take it all out, put it back in. I did 15 minutes of a quick tidy. Because when I do the inside of my appliances next month, I'm going to do the inside of my pantry. 
So I just went in and like put things where they needed to be and just quickly like ordered everything. Now you guys, you are not spending hours doing the things in these zones. Nope. I love how Fly Lady designed this method because it keeps you from cleaning all day. When you're in your zone, you're working on one thing for 15 minutes. So if you start your zone and you want to declutter because you can't get to your countertops because your countertops are filled with stuff, you take 15 minutes and you declutter. Okay? Declutter. Grab a bag of like whatever you're gonna throw away, throw it in there. Declutter for 15 minutes. And then when you're hitting your projects, like I did with with the washing the cupboards and the pantry and the stove and the floor. I set my timer for 15 minutes and when it was done, I was done. So when I had to do my appliances, I set a time for them. So I tried to, <laughs> this was a hard one for me because you have to set the timer. So I had 15 minutes to wipe down my appliances. So basically that's almost four minutes in appliance. So, and it's hard because you want to keep going and but I was like, nope, that's all I got time for. So I set my timer and I wiped down, I toothpicked, I did what I could for those minutes for each of the one. And it looks great. It looks great. It looks, it looks great. And so it keeps you from keep going all day long doing the same project. Yeah. So if you wanted to clean out your fridge or clean out your pantry for one of the days of the week to do your zone cleaning. Do you have enough time in 15 minutes to take everything out and put it back in? So that's something to think about. And zone cleaning is supposed to help us with the clutter. It, help us, it helps us declutter instead of trying to tackle all our home at once. It helps us tackle one area of our home. I love it. Because when I go through my kitchen drawers during that week that I'm in the kitchen, like okay I get to declutter I haven't used this haven't even thought nope I didn't touch it last month nope and you can get rid of it. it's so great it's a great way to declutter so you're probably thinking gosh 15 minutes that's not a whole lot nope but it leaves you with time to do all the other things that you want to get done and when you sign up for fly lady it is free and you can get emails sent to you or you could just if you don't want all those there's a lot of emails that could be sent to you um, you could just hop on every day. I, I pull it up on my phone. I go, okay, what's today's challenge? They'll do like, okay, today in the zone, we are focusing on going through your utensil drawer. So it's really neat to see what they come up with. So I love doing that. So hop on and look at that as well. So you can pick to do your zone cleaning every day of the week or, or just four days out of the week uh, while you're doing your normal routine. But you, I also encourage you to look at your schedule because not everybody is a housewife um, or stay-at-home mom. We, you know, Some of us work from home, some of us work out of the home. So I always say look at your schedule. I picked Tuesdays to do my zone cleaning because I gotta figure with the kids sports my schedule there's times during the school year I need to leave and go get Boston go take them to tutor bring them back to the school and then my filming schedule and my editing schedule I thought hmm I don't think doing one day of zoning every day is gonna work for me so I picked Tuesdays as my zone day so I will set my timer for 15 minutes on each thing in my zone. Okay, so this week, uh, zone three is the bathroom in one extra room. So I'm going to pick four things to do for 15 minutes a piece. So that gives me, so if I pick four things, that's what, two hours? So I drop off the kids from, to, I drop off the kids to school, I come back, I get my zone cleaning, done. And I don't have to think about cleaning. It's done. So just look at your schedule. I encourage you to do that. So I'm honestly, right now, you're seeing it in real thinking time. What am I going to pick? So the bathroom. Um, I definitely need to wash the area rugs. Jonah had a bloody nose last night <laughs> on my area rugs. So those are going in the wash. Um, so I'm going to be definitely doing the area rugs. Um, I can scrub the floor. But I clean the floors on Mondays for home blessing. But to give it an extra elbow grease, uh, I will do that. It's a small space. I will do that. Straighten drawers and cabinets. Clean shower stall. Clean medicine cabinet. I don't have a medicine cabinet. Throw away empty bottles. Okay, so for the kids' bathroom. Now the kids have the bathroom as their zone. It's been Callie's zone all week. 
she wipes down the wall, she wipes down the counters, the toilet, all of that. So for me to go in and to really deep clean the bathroom, it's not going to be that bad. So this week I'm going to focus on the shower, the bathroom floor, and uh, the walls. The walls need to get wiped down. Uh, anything that she missed, I'll just look. It's a small bathroom. I could crank that bathroom out really quick. Um, and probably go through the drawers and straighten them up up a bit but I don't have to do all of that like who, um, who gets that zone now Jonah gets the bathroom zone now this week we switch I'm filming this on a Saturday so Sundays we switch the zones so I don't have to do all the zone cleaning I could give it to a family member and say hey go do this so divvy up your work and then I get to do the uh, I could do the kids bedroom which I am going to do this week I'm focusing on Boston and Shaley's room it is turned upside down uh, I will reorganize I have 15 minutes you know what can I do for 15 minutes that they can't really do so I'll go down there and figure that out and then the office I'm going to focus in the office so you could do it every day pick you know every day go okay 15 minutes in my zone done Okay, but also look at your schedule and see what works for you. And then there will be a challenge that day as well from Fly Lady um, for things that you could do in that zone to help you declutter. The whole goal is to declutter along with deep cleaning, okay? So um, that is your main focus because after, like you'll notice, like after two months, your home is going to be less cluttered. It's great. This is why, you know, I totally believe in the zone method. All right, so that was a little overwhelming, right? Did I overwhelm you if you've never heard this system before? Okay, so I'm going to help you. So now we're going to talk about, okay, how to begin. So wherever you're at, whatever the week is right now, live time, we're on uh, zone three. Um, if you're watching this in the future, look at the month. What zone are we in this week? And hop in there and hop in there because you're going to hit all the zones every month. Set your timer for 15 minutes. Okay, don't pull out what you can't put away in 15 minutes. Declutter that area, declean that area. Um, you can pick pick whatever you want to get done that week and just remember and don't get overwhelmed. I can get back to this next month. I love zone cleaning. It helps to declutter. It helps to maintain the chaos and you're hitting your home every month in the same spots but, but you're not trying to conquer your home in a day or a week and you just feel so overwhelmed. This cuts the overwhelming feeling and for me and my, my anxiety it helps so 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 much. So I totally believe in zone cleaning. It helps maintain the home. Uh, that's why I decided to, to put my kids into zone cleaning and it's been so I encourage you to go check out that video for your kids if you like. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below. Tell me what you do in your zones. Um, How has it been for you? Any tips? So, and then next week we're going to talk about morning and night routines. It'll all be in one video. If you'd like to see my old videos on morning and night routines, go check them out down below. Uh, so it helps so, so, so much. I am a firm believer in morning routines. I do really good on my morning routine. I'm not the best at my night routine, but I do have a fly lady mentor, Kat, and she's helping me. So thank you. You could print them up. You could cut and paste on, um, on the fly lady and just um, print them up. And that's what I did. I put them in my, this is the kid's zone book. Um, I just put my zones in the back. I found this um, printable on Pinterest. If I can find it, I'll put it for you. But I'm going to end up redoing this, but not right now. Um, this helps me right now. So, but because it has some things that for this lady's family that I don't do, but I'm just ignoring them. So, um, but I challenge you to create a zone cleaning and in my planner I also put what I'm doing for my zone cleaning in my planner to remind me because it can get overwhelming because I can look I could seriously go into my office right now and I could be in there for like a week but if we just pick a couple things set a timer 15 minutes and be done and be proud of the work that you do in your zone for that short time because your brain needs evidence that you you can do this and you can do it well and that you're proud of yourself. Be happy with even the smallest accomplishment in your home. So your brain knows, I'm awesome, I can do this. 
it's not as bad. You need to feed your brain good, positive things that you're doing, okay? So set a timer, be happy about what you accomplished, and move on. All right, that is my Motivational Monday for today. Hope you guys are doing awesome, and we will see you next week on the next Motivational Monday on Morning and Night Routines. Woohoo! Thanks for joining me, you guys. We'll see ya. Bye.